Welcome to Six Briggs Challenges. Six Briggs are a fantastic learning tool from LEGO Education. Playful learning is a great way to help children practice important skills for learning, like language, problem solving, and working together in a team. To join in with our Six Bricks Challenges at home, you'll need six 4x2 LEGO or Duplo bricks. You'll find all our previous challenges on our First LEGO League UK and Ireland Facebook page and on our IET YouTube channel. Hi everybody, I'm Lucy. I work for the IET and our education team and this is my super helper, Miles. Thanks for joining us for today's Six Bricks live Facebook event. Hopefully we've got some people watching that have joined us before, but hopefully also some new faces too. So hi to everybody that's watching. Um, today's Six Bricks activity is another great one. It's called Kim's Game. The name doesn't give it away as to what we're doing today, but it's another memory game that also helps us to build confidence when we're doing something a bit tricky and also helps us to keep our attention focused on what we're doing. Because again, we need that for our learning. So this is a really good one to practice those skills. Now, as usual, first thing, you're gonna break out your bricks in front of you. Now for the first job, we're only gonna use three bricks and we need to agree on which color bricks we're going to use. We'll do that in just a second. But I'm gonna put three bricks out for five seconds. I'm gonna cover them over and you have to then recreate what I've made. So you have to think about colour and you have to think about where they're positioned. Now, if you've got the same colours as us at home, then obviously do the same colours we're using. If you've got different colours, absolutely fine. Do the colours that you're doing at home. So follow your grown-ups lead with that one. Um, so let's choose three colours that we're going to use. What should we work red, with? Red, light blue. Red, light blue. Red, light blue and green. They're probably going to be quite good ones to tell the difference of and look at them quickly because we've only got five seconds. So I'm going to make something underneath my cover. I'm going to uncover it for five seconds. Hands off your bricks. You're not allowed to touch them until I say go when it's covered back up again. Okay? And you're not allowed to peek. Right, let's have a go. So I'm going to put some bricks together. Ready? Ready at home? Five, four, three, two, one, build. Can you remember how they were put? How did you do at home? Was it easy? Was it tricky? Did you feel like you needed to have a little look to see how you got on? Should we have a look how you got on? <gasps> Brilliant. Miles did that really straightforward. How did you guys get on at home? Did you manage to get the same? Right, we're going to do it one more time and then we'll swap over rolls, okay? So I'm going to make it a bit trickier this time. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, build. How did you find that one? Easy-ish. Easy-ish. Was it trickier than before? A little bit. A little bit trickier. How did we get on? <coughs> I think we did it. So look, if you can look at from all angles as well, we've got two bricks stacked on top of each other. And we've got one coming off the top there. How did you get on at home? Did you have any strategies to help you? N not really. I just had to remember. Just focused and looked really, really carefully at what you were doing. When I try to remember things, I have to say things in my head or say things out loud. So I would have gone red, then blue, then green or something to remind myself. Right, let's swap it over. This time, Miles, you're going to be the person that makes it under the cover. Okay. And then you're going to give me five seconds to see if I can repeat it. Ready? Yeah. I think he's going to do something really tricky to try and catch me out, aren't you? See, kids at home, see if you can give something really hard to your parents. Ready? I am ready. Five seconds. Give me five seconds. Ready, go. Five. Oh, four, my goodness. Three, two, one. I've already forgotten. I've already forgotten, oh my goodness. So that's what I've tried to do at home. Do you think I've got it right? I'm, I'm not convinced I've done very well on that one. Right, let's see. Oh, mm -hmm. I knew there was one in the middle. So let's show the difference with these two here, look. Can you see what was different about my one? What did I get in the wrong positions? I got the colors on the right side, but I put the bricks in the wrong studs. Oh, really tricky. Right, do one more for me, Miles, and then we'll, we'll see if we can make it even harder. No, just, just do whatever you want and I'll see what I can do. Ready? Okay, yeah. 
Okay. Kids at home, think of a good challenge for your parents. Will they be able to copy your one? It is hard to put them together with one hand. That's good practice, though, for our five motor skills, isn't it? Trying to do stuff with one hand. Ready? Yep. Okay, go on then. Five. Oh, my goodness. Four, three, two, one. Okay. I think it was something like that where he had just one stud on each corner. Right, how did you get on at home? Let's have a look. Pull it away completely so we can see. Oh. Did we do the same thing? Yeah, I, I guess so. Oh no, I tell you what I've done differently. Look, look how I've connected my green one. I've used the wrong stud on my green one. I should have used this stud here to go into the red one. Very tricky, Miles. Very, very tricky. I like it though, making me think. Let's have a go with four bricks this time. So what other colour should we bring in? Our orange one, maybe? Uh, yeah. Should we bring in our orange one? Okay, so you need four bricks at home this time. Again, use the same colours as each other. It doesn't have to be the same as ours. Make sure the person you're copying or, or um, playing it with has got the same colours as you. Okay, so we'll do one go each. Let's have a go. Are we ready? Let me... Yes. Get something going here. It is very tricky with one hand. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of changed my design, but that's fine. We can work with that. Are we ready? Yes. Hands off your bricks. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, didn't cover it. Go. Oh. <laughs> You got an extra extra peat there in that time. How do we do? I don't know. Yeah, don't you're not you're really not as confident with four. It's tricky, isn't it? Right, should we have a look, everybody? Four. Well done, look at that. Spot on. How did you find that home? Is four that bit more challenging, or does it just depend on how you put your bricks together? I think it might do. Right, Miles, you're gonna do one for me this time. Okay. Don't make my mistake though, make sure you cover it up. Uh, okay. Right, let's see which tricky combination he does for me this time. I hope to see some brilliant photos of what you're getting up to at home with all of your challenges for each other. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Give me five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Oh, I forgot the one I think it was like this. No, there was a gap in the middle. Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure on this one at all. That was very, very hard. Right. This is what I've created. Show us yours, Miles. Uh-uh. What have we got there? Oh, so I remember the uh, space in the middle, but I've just given it too many spaces. Not too far off. How did you get on? Did you manage to get that exactly right? That was really, really tricky, that one. And five seconds is not a lot of time. What you can do is if it's really, really tricky to do it for just five seconds, give yourself a bit longer, give yourself 10 seconds maybe, so that you can have a look for a bit longer and see if you can remember it in your head. Okay, should we have one try with five bricks? Yes. Okay, let's challenge ourselves. We're gonna use five bricks. We're gonna use a dark brick, are we? Yeah. Again, make sure you've got the same five colours. Doesn't matter which ones, but make sure you've got the same five colours. You're gonna make it really hard for me now. <laughs> this is tricky now, right. Okay. Oh no. Oh, this is very, very. I'm gonna have to use this hand, I think, to help me with this oh, one. No. Put your head on the Oh dear. Almost there we go. Okay, right, are we ready? Yes. Five seconds, hands off your bricks. Five, four, three, two, one. Build. Very, very tricky. Okay, so there wouldn't be a gap underneath, would there? Okay, so you're using some thinking skills now to work out whether that actually would have been the way I built it. How did you find that at home? 
bit trickier this time with five. <gasps> okay. Yes. Oh, he got it. Right, oops, I've just broken my bottle again. Never mind, Lego can fix, easy peasy. Right, show yours Mel's as well. We got that exactly the same, oh, same as me. As well. There we go, so, tricky. The more bricks you have, and the more challenging ways you put your bricks together, the harder your memory and your brain has to work for that one. Okay, so this time we're gonna have um, three bricks again. And I'm gonna build a model. Um, I'm gonna hide it underneath my um, tea towel, but parents at home, you can try hiding it behind a chair or in a cupboard maybe. Once you've hidden your model, the children then need to go and have a look at the model. Then they come back and try to build the same with their bricks. Now, they are allowed three return trips because often when you go away and look at something, on the way back, you've already forgotten it. So you're allowed three return trips to have a look. Or you can ask me to show to, to look at it three times under my um, tea towel here. Okay, should we have a try? Which three colours should we use for this time? Uh, yellow. Yellow, blue. Yeah, to make the hair better. Oh, really telling yourself. Because the thing, obviously, with blue is there's two different shades of blue, isn't there? So you might have the same problem if you've got these colours at home as well. A bit more challenging. So I'm going to build a model, and you're allowed three peaks this time. So obviously, I'm going to do a little bit more tricky than the other ones. Would have been. To use the three peaks. You don't have to use the three peaks at all. But you're allowed three peaks if you want to. Okay. Oh, I know. Yeah. Right. So, grown ups, build your model with your three bricks at home. Go and hide it somewhere. Children can then go and have a look. Only for a couple of seconds. No longer than five, I would say. And then they're allowed to come back for three return trips. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. I'm going to give you three seconds this time. Oh, Do you want to cash in one of your peaks? Okay, so you've got one more look. Ready? Again, for three seconds. One, two, three. Okay. Do you want to have a one more check? Definitely. Okay, one more peak. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Think you're done? Yeah. So once your children's gone off and had a look at the model, think they've recreated it, put them together and see, did we get the same model? Yeah. Let's have a look. Put it face forward. Yeah, I think we can't, if I put it that way, it might be easier to check. We've pretty yeah. much got the same, yeah, I think we have. Spot on, well done. So do we think that's harder or easier when you're allowed three peaks? Harder, you think, that time? Okay. I think if we had to go off and do a journey, it definitely does make it harder because you'll forget on the way back. I definitely do forget on the way back. Um, but you can obviously repeat that as many times as you want. Make it as tricky or as easy as you want as well. And definitely swap roles and see how you get on. Would you want to have a go with me? You can use more than three bricks as well if you want to make it even more challenging. Yeah. Okay, how many bricks are we going to use? Three? Uh, we're going to keep it at three. I'm going to use four bricks. What extra colour should we use then? Orange. Orange. Okay, right. So you're going to build a model. You're only going to let me look for three seconds, but I'm then allowed to have three peaks if I want them. I won't look, don't worry. I wonder how you're going to find this at home. Will you go for six bricks? Make it even more challenging for yourself. That'd be very exciting to see some of your examples with some videos and pictures that you're going to post to us. I think Mars is thinking really carefully about what he's making with his six bricks here. Oh, he's definitely going to test me with this one. I can feel it. Right. You ready? Okay, give it three seconds. Right, go. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh. Right, I need a peek already. Three, okay. two, one. All right. I remembered more than I thought I did, actually. I think I only needed one peak. I'm, I'm quite confident I've managed to do it the same as Miles is. Should we have a little check to see how I got on, right? Yep. I did. I did it the same? Yep. I did. Fantastic. Okay. So if you haven't got the same model when you finish, what was different? How could you make it the same? Which bits do you need to change around to make it look exactly the same as your partner's? Because that's really important as well, spotting the differences and making adjustments. Brilliant. Okay, today's STEM challenge. We've seen some great examples already of our previous STEM challenges. 
but today's one is to invent a new way of keeping fit and healthy inside. Now, I've got an exercise bike that I use at home at the moment, but I think we can come up with some really crazy and interesting ideas. I'm sure we can. Much more exciting than an exercise bike. What would you make, Miles, do you think, that you could use at home to keep fit and healthy? Get loads of Lego bricks and make a little weight. <laughs> oh, make some weights out of Lego. That could be a challenge. How many can you put together to make the maximum number of weight? Brilliant. I think I would like to find a way of having swimming at home. A way of swimming at home. Oh, yeah. But obviously we haven't got the space for a swimming pool, so I'd need to invent somewhere of doing it or a way of condensing it down. I don't know. So that's something I need to have a think about. But post all of your pictures and videos of your wonderful exercise inventions using hashtag six bricks. Mm -hmm. He's already got some going there. Or hashtag STEM so we can see all of your wonderful ideas. We've had a great time showing you Kim's game today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it too. We want to see some great pictures and videos of what you've been up to. Don't forget, we've got lots of free downloadable STEM activities on our IET education website. Just go to the IET.org forward slash education to keep yourselves busy till next challenge. Um, and you can also get your at-home version of First Lego League Junior Discovery, which is where Six Bricks features. Um, go to our website, the IET.org forward slash discovery and get yours there. We hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.